and welcome to 2020. I mean, let's be honest, it's been 2020 for a while. First vlog back, I am back in London now. I have spent, if for those of you that haven't watched my previous vlogs, um, I have been in Liverpool for the past five weeks doing panto. I vlogged the entire thing. I did Vlogmas, so I will leave a link to that playlist if I can. It took me so long to figure out how to share it on Twitter and Instagram, so it might not work, but I'll try and leave a link to the playlist up in the corner for you to check out if you fancy. Um, but yeah, now I'm back in London. I've got wet hair uh, because I'm kind of like, I've my loads of my stuff's back home because I went straight home after Panto and I haven't had time to really sort everything out um and also we're not staying in this place for much longer so I've kind of left most of my stuff at home but I've realized that I forgot a hair dryer um and I need one to dry my hair and I'm meant to be filming a video but my hair's still wet so I'm just waiting for that to dry but yes hello and welcome to 2020 I cannot believe that it's the new year new year new me new year same me oh what's that on the that's fine. I thought it was a mug. So I'm back in London now. Um, I haven't really been here for ages. Um, I haven't even been here yet much this year. Today is my kind of first full day, maybe second full day, like in London, because um, I'm flitting back and forth between home. But I've got the whole day today, and I've got quite a fun-filled day planned, so I thought I'd vlog it. I'm going to sit down because... I'm tired. On a side note, I've just been watching Amy Lovett's most recent video. Is it her most recent video? I think so. Um, it's called Broadway's Biggest Scandals and Controversies. And I, I'm i in shock. Like, I did not know half of this stuff. It's such a good video. I'd highly recommend you check Amy's. Oh my God, please ignore that pile. It's all infants clothes. <laughs> it's such a good video. I'd highly recommend you check it out. But yeah, it's a really interesting video. There's some stuff I did not know. Actually, I don't know if I knew any of it. I maybe knew like one or two things, but most of it really shocked me. There's one, a story about Jeremy Jordan that actually broke my heart. It broke my heart. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I'm having kind of like a fun filled day today. Do excuse me, I'm still in my pajamas. I have had a shower, but these are like, you know, the like the comfies you put on when you're clean. They're like my like comfy, like when I've had a shower, but I don't need to leave the house pajamas. Does anyone else have that? Or is it just me? So like I didn't want them to sleep in, but I had a shower. Me and Linford actually went for a walk this morning then, um, which was really nice. Then I had a shower and breakfast and I put my comfies back on just to like get ready. Um, but I need to leave soon. So I need to actually get filming this video. Come on hair, dry. But yeah, so I'm having a fun filled little day today. I am gonna head into town in a bit. So I'm filming, I'm gonna head into town in a bit and I'm gonna do a ballet class, which I'm really nervous about because I haven't done ballet in months months and months and months so i'm gonna be awful but you know what that's okay because let's face it i'm not a prima ballerina anyway um so there's not really any expectations but i enjoy it and it's a really good workout and such a good base for like all other dance technique so i'm gonna go it's gonna be hard but i'm gonna go so then after that is done i'm gonna go i'm gonna walk to linford's theater and meet him because he's got two shows today so i'm gonna meet him and his friend we're gonna have some lunch slash dinner. Then I'm meeting my friend Jordan. Those of you who watched my panto, not last year, oh my God, I was gonna say this year, last year, but the year before, um, he played the prince in that panto. Um, so two years ago now, oh my gosh, that's terrifying. Um, so I'm gonna meet Jordan and we are gonna go and watch my friend Leah play a starring role in the musical Curtains. I'm so excited, firstly, I'm so excited for Leah because she deserves this so much and I can't wait to watch her up there and she's gonna be amazing, I already know. Um, and I'm secondly excited because Curtains is one of my favorite musicals of all time. It's absolutely incredible. And it's one of those shows that I feel like not many people really know, but I know it and I love it. <laughs> so really interestingly, Curtains was actually one of my third year shows at drama school. So when you're in third year, your third year at drama school, you put on like shows um, that you perform in and agents come and watch, people from the industry come and watch. It's kind of like your final performance. It goes towards your degree, everything like that. Um, and I did two. I was in Our House and I was also in Curtains. And I remember when they said we were doing Curtains, I was like, well, what's that? <laughs> Never heard of it in my life. I was like, mm, okay, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I absolutely loved being in it. It is the best, it's so good. It's like a murder mystery, but it's also a comedy. It's got some great Kandra and Ebb songs in it. 
it oh it's it's got great characters honestly it is amazing it's currently on in the west end it's been on over christmas at the windhams um on charing cross is that where it is i think so if i'm wrong i'll put it on the screen but yeah it's there it's been there for a while um but it, i think it finishes on saturday in london However, it's going to Wimbledon next week. So if you live in London, you can catch it next week in Wimbledon or it's going on tour around the UK, which is probably better for people that aren't in London. Um, so yeah, it's going around the UK. Um, I'll leave like a link to where you can get tickets in the description box, just in case anyone's interested. Honestly, I know that it's one of those shows maybe that people are like, oh, I don't really know what that is, but it's so good. So like if you're in any doubt and it's something that you maybe haven't heard of or you're like, I'm not sure what that would be like, it's so good. I've not seen this production yet, but the show itself, I absolutely love. And I just know it's going to be great. I've seen lots of pictures and things like that. So me and Jordan are going to go and watch that tonight. I'm just so excited. I love curtains so much. <sighs> I can't wait to tell you all about it. But I'll take you along anyway. Yeah, I've got to go and pick up my tickets 45 minutes before. I actually booked my tickets on Today Ticks. If you're not, I think I've talked about this app before. But if you're not familiar with it, Today Ticks is basically an app where you can kind of find good ticket deals and it's like there's this thing basically called day seating which I used to do a lot when I was in college um where you basically they'd release a certain amount of tickets that were discounted on the day but you'd have to queue up and they'd go I think they'd go on sale at like 10 a.m but you'd have to queue up at the theatre so people would be queuing up I remember me and my sister sat outside what was it for people places and things to play um, we literally sat outside the theatre from like 6am in the freezing cold. I don't even know when it was, but it was so cold and yeah. So people used to do that all the time. But you can actually now do it on the app. So you like unlock it for rush tickets. So they're called rush tickets now. And it's kind of the same thing. And that's what I got for curtains. So you just go onto the app and they've got all different shows. Is that showing up? They've got all different shows on here. They've got like Come From Away, Waitress, Cur, Wicked. 9 to 5, Lion King, her, To Kill a Mockingbird, desperate to see that. Uh, the Book of Mormon, Sunday in the Park with George, Curtains, Mary Poppins, Lion the Witch in the Wardrobe, which is what Linford's in. But yeah, so they've got loads of different shows on there and you can get rush tickets for quite a few of them. Hang on, let me turn you around. I'll show you like this because it's a bit easier. Look, they've got all the shows here. So you can just go on here, see what's on here. Or if you've got a specific show in mind, you can search for it. But I just... Scrolled down, found curtains, and look, tickets from £18. That's absolutely amazing. Um, you just click on it, it comes through here. You can basically unlock rush tickets, tw and they're £25. Um, I think they're normally £25, but don't quote me on that. Um, so you can either do that, or you can just book tickets yourself. So you can like, just go in and like find whatever like tickets you want. It's a really, really good app. But yeah, so I... I'd already unlocked it, but I've already got the tickets. Wait, where can I show you? Yeah, look, you have one upcoming show. Tap here to view your order. So that's my tickets for tonight. But yeah, I just did it literally this morning at 10 a.m. I set a reminder. Well, it actually reminded me because I um, asked it to. Um, yeah, and you can just get 25 pound tickets, but I got them really, really easily. But yeah, I'm really excited. There's Leah, whoa! But there's Leah with Jason Manford. Go on, Leah. So yeah, really great app, highly recommend it. Hope I explained that well enough. If anyone has any questions, um, just send me a DM or leave a comment below this video about today ticks and I will happily answer your question. I'm right, I really need to film this video. I might just have to do it with wet hair. Right, I'm gonna set up my camera and everything and potentially do a wet hair video. <laughs> I realised I was gonna show you my outfit before I left um, and I didn't <laughs> uh, because I'm in a rush as per usual. Um, but I am just heading out the door now. I'm gonna head to Pineapple in Covent Garden, get the tube and I'll show you my outfit when I get there. <laughs> before I take off to do class. Oh god, right, gotta go. I've never been in the lift by myself at Covent Garden before. This is so weird. All alone in the lift. It's so weird. <laughs> Outfit that I promised you earlier. <laughs> So I've just finished at Pineapple, I'm sweaty and I forgot a bra, <laughs> but it was really, really good. I am exhausted, um, but I need to rush because I'm going to walk to Linfordstead to meet him. Um, but it's about half an hour walk, I think, so I need to hurry up. So yeah, oh, I'm really sweaty, but that was really good. It was so nice to be back. Just went to meet Linford in um, Rose's tie. Uh, in London Bridge uh, and a couple of his friends for some food 
and now I am heading back into Charing Cross to go and meet Jordan and go and collect the tickets for tonight. Very excited. the day that the rest of this vlog was filmed on. Uh, what happened? I remember what happened. I went to see curtains with Jordan, then me and Jordan walked to the tube together, and then I went to meet my boyfriend and his friends in London Bridge, um, and then we ended up not getting home till very late, very late. And then we ate some Lebanese food, and yeah, by that point it was like 2 a.m. and I didn't want to finish the video then because I was pretty much half asleep. Um, so I thought that I would finish off the video now and let you know what I thought of curtains. So I had the time of my life with Jordan, always do. We had a lovely old time, um, had a nice catch up because we've both been off doing panto. So we were kind of catching up on all of that. So yeah, I just thought I'd share with you my thoughts about the show. Um, I loved the seats that we had. I got my seats, like I said, through Today Tix, um, and they were 25 pounds each. But we were in, I think, the second row of the Royal Circle, which is like, there's the bottom bit, which is the stalls, and then the next level up is the Royal Circle. So we were sat there. Sadly, didn't get to see my friend Leah because she wasn't very well, but I'm sure I'll get to see it again with her in, and I really want to see it again because I just loved it. I love curtains anyway. I have such fond memories of it because I did it in my third year at my drama school and I just absolutely loved the musical so watching it was because I've not really listened to it or really like seen anything about it since we did it at college so it was seeing it kind of on stage again just brought back so many lovely memories and I was like oh my gosh I forgot about that song the music in it is so beautiful and it's so underrated it's one of it's one of those scores it's like me and Jordan were saying there's not really any songs that kind of stick in your head or like those songs that you can't get out of your head you know like the really kind of popular songs from musicals there's not really any of those but they're beautiful songs yeah the show was written by Kander and Ebb and all of the music is stunning like there's so many songs in it when they came out I was like oh my gosh I forgot about that song I love that song so much so yeah the music is just just beautiful there's one song that always makes me cry what's it called I don't know the music is it called I miss the music but anyway, it's this beautiful song that the character Aaron sings. It's called, I think it's called, it's, I miss the music I wrote with her. We'll go with that being the title. But yeah, it was just beautiful. I just absolutely loved it. I, it's just so funny. It's such, it's like a murder mystery. Um, but it's just hilarious. The director is my favourite part in it. He is comedy gold. It was just so nice to see the show again. I just love it so, so much. Sadly, they closed at the theatre in the West End that they were performing at um, on the 11th of January, but they are now currently in Wimbledon. So not too far out of the centre of London. It's West London, South West London, South West London. Um, but it's a really lovely theatre. And if you can see the show, I really highly recommend it. It's so good. But if you don't catch them in Wimbledon, they are still on tour. I'm not sure for how long, but I think they're going north after that. 
um so they'll be around but yeah that it, it's such a good show i'd really highly recommend it yeah let me know if any of you guys have seen it and what your thoughts are i'd be really interested to hear i hope that you enjoyed this video going on a little theater trip let me know of any other theater vlogs that you would like to see and i will see you again in the next video bye